social media. Big problem. I had a social media once. And being on there and took away my time, took away my freedom, away from my family. People start to rely too much on that and so they stop interacting in the real world as much and they become cut off socially and there is a giant aspect I believe of just being human, a, a social creature that you miss out on if you put yourself in a you know, isolationist type of situation constantly. All my friends and having fake friends, you know, there's pictures of people that it's all fake, a lot of it. It's all filtered, you know, they, I mean, they, they just doctor themselves up and look like models. I think that social media is the greatest tool we have to, to change things in our society. Right now, we're more connected with the entire world than we ever have been, ever. There's information going from one point of the world to the next on the other side of the world in a split second. People can share their personal stories, their opinions, and they can share advertising over any any distance of time, or any distance of space on this planet. So if you have that, if you get enough organization, you can, you can make a lot of change if you wanted to. Social media, how it's influencing people, and then there's also like, you know, social media, how it's, it's changing the mentality of kids. Um, a lot of kids nowadays, what they see on social media, or what they do on social media, they're, they're not developing their minds. I think people like that just target young minds and they want to brainwash the young people. And they just want to send out their wrong message to the world so they can brainwash other people. I think it's really easy to get lost in that world. On the internet, when you have a mask of a, a facade of a computer screen, you can be whoever you want, say whatever you want. There's less pressure because it's not actually you. I think. And because of that, people can be really harsh. And what you see on the internet, I don't think, is a direct reflection of how people really are. And it's really easy to get caught up in that when you're saturated by it all the time. And it's easy to start thinking that people around you are that way. And, and really, they're not. I don't know if you ever realize yourself, but you have like two different personalities. One, in, in social media, where you're behind the camera, where you're just speaking, you can be acting fake, you could be smiling for all you can, but in reality, you could be hurt deep down. You might be sad, you might just hate the world. Lies everywhere. All around the world. There's so many things that, that you can, that you can be, you can be a different person. You can fake everything you can in social media. You could do the same thing in life, but it's way harder. And the emotions, just not real. It's not there. <laughs> Most people on the internet will try to put up their best selves for people to see, to share with the world. I think most people, and this is just my opinion, I think most people hide a lot of their pain and a lot of their, their stress and anxiety to a point and just kind of, they want to show them being happy. That's what they want the world to see. We want to feel special in some way. So, like, if for, for example, if you're just uploading a picture online, what are you focusing on the most? You're more focusing on those likes. The more likes that you get, the better you feel about yourself. Oh, Gordito, I love this picture of you. I'm gonna put it on Facebook. I saw a video my, my brother posted, and it was, it was a guy that was really, uh, he really did not like the whole transgender thing. And he, he was very open with his opinion, very kind of harsh, hateful. My brother shared that because he's gay. And it, and it affected him on an emotional level. It, you know, he was, he was offended by it. Who wouldn't be or if in his position? I get it. I understand. However, all he's done is bring more attention to hatred and less attention to the solution. Around August of 2016, my Facebook got deleted. And so, um, 
I basically told off the woman and I called her a cunt. And I said that her views were, I mean, they were extremely stupid and homophobic. So, um, uh, I blocked her after that. Her husband messaged me up, asked me, you know, why would you call my wife um, a cunt? And I'm like, you know, she's defending homophobes crashing um, a remembrance for LGBT victims mm -hmm. of uh, this mass shooting. And um, I said, your wife's a stupid cunt. So having a good uh, discourse and debate is healthy. But then also at the same time, uh, I don't like personally going on and reading my feed and seeing a bunch of people talking about uh, opinions that I don't agree with. Hey, but I get it at the same time. It's, you know, like the, uh, I guess one of the forefathers, I believe, said it, you know, uh, I mean, I'd agree with your opinion, but I'll die for the right for you to have it, uh, it type thing. And you really, so it's not fun to see those things. Uh, Sometimes it's kind of interesting, uh, almost, uh, 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 you know, just dramatic or gossipy, I guess you could say. I don't think what I did was too far off from that, and I think that uh, deleting my Facebook was way, way too harsh. I mean, as long as you're using it for, like, good material, and for, like, sending out good messages, connecting with people, sharing something that can help people. I mean, that, that's good, but if you're like trying to post and ruin people's lives and all that, it's, it's, it's not good. You do kind of have to have thick skin. You have to know what you're getting into when you have a social media account. Um, but, I mean, that being said, at the same time, um, I don't think there's any harm in uh, lightly trolling some people. I think some people need to be trolled, and I don't. I want to make a distinction between trolling and bullying, because I think bullying is like harassment, where you're constantly going after somebody, which it's wrong, but you kind of should expect it when you go online. Um, trolling is just kind of playing with somebody and messing with them just a little bit. So I think um, like trolling is healthy for people. What is the exact purpose of social media? To be social, but the more time you spend on the phone, the more anti-social you're becoming. Ta-da! <laughs> Me personally, I just feel like I'm wasting time on it, so I stopped. I stopped using. I mean, yeah, I pretty much stopped using all my social media. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I know that every time I get on social media, I start getting distracted, and I'm just spending hours and hours there doing nothing, and I can use that time to be learning more on the branches or the stuff that I want to do which is, you know, either animating or modeling, or whatever it is. I feel like I should start using my time wisely because time is something you can't get back. I go on Facebook or in any type of social media and then I see these people and it seems like their life is just so perfect and mine is just, it becomes so much smaller, the little... Um, success that I may be having because I put this part together it, it just seems like everything is just, just so wrong because they look so well put together it can be very depressing <laughs> it can be very depressing because they look so pretty and I am all like mom chongo no makeup yeah, I think everyone should just close it down you know everyone just get a life hello Hey man, what do you think about social media? Social media is awesome! Hey, screw you! When we think about social media, what social media is is a tool. It's neither good nor bad in itself. Um, and we can determine whether its use is, is helpful or harmful based upon whether it fulfills its function, okay? And in general, you'd agree that the purpose of social media, we'd agree that it, it's to facilitate the sense of community or friendship, one of those basic human goods. It can't be denied that in some ways, social media can 
Facebook, Twitter, um, Snapchat, in Instagram can all, blogs can all be a way of sharing our lives, sharing tragedies, sharing um, good, um, good things that have happened to us, pictures, memories, um, recipes, good articles. Many, there's many good, many good uses and um, good ways that it builds up community. People who mentioned um, that Facebook was a harmful thing brought up some of the negative sides of social media. So I think, in one sense, um, I think you can think of a number of harmful consequences of being a waste of time, and then also like kind of leading to a, a sort of unhealthy curiosity about the details of people's lives that we just don't need to know, that just don't help us be better friends or better, um, better people, uh, kind of unconsciously to comparisons with other people. And comparisons either lead to envy on the one hand, right, if you're comparing yourself to someone you perceive as, be as better, or, um, you know, and then, and then kind of as a, as a result, like despair or like depression, that kind of thing. Or it could also be um, pride, right? So if, if if it's judging that person as inferior in some way, it really does encourage us to create an an image of ourselves that's not real, and also an image of other people that is. Never had a bad experience with social media. It's destroying the world. I miss the trolling a little bit. It's got its pros and its cons. Happiness is found in reality. If you think of Aristotle, he says well, happiness consists in contemplation of the highest things. Okay, so what is truly beautiful and truly good and truly, truly true.